hey guys welcome back to another video here at creators theory in today's video we'll see how to create a cinematic image slideshow in filmora earlier on this channel we have created multiple slideshow videos so you can check them out by clicking in the top right corner or check them in the description below and before starting this tutorial if you don't have the latest version of filmora then make sure you download it from the link in the description below and if you are new to this channel then make sure hit the subscribe button to follow for more filmora related tutorials so let's get started with the tutorial as you can see i've already added all the media in the bin there are some sound effect uh, tracks and uh, which i have used in this video so you can uh, download them from clicking in the link in the description i have given the link in the description below the cinematic slideshow video consists of two part and the first part will see a slow start video with the fast paced slideshow and in the second part we will see a flickering image and then a slow end the two most important thing about a cinematic slideshow is having the images in motion and having emotions in the image now i'll explain this both to both the part while editing the video so let's get started with that so as you can see i have multiple images so let me first bring this uh, background sound effect that i have created used for this uh, video so this is the sound effect that i've used so let me just bring it over here so as you can see this is a noise uh, beat detection has been added to this but i think according to me the beat detection is not proper so as you can see here there is a spike so i will add mark this over there so that i understand where i need to make the changes so i'll make all this over here so once we're set with that what i will do i will first bring one of the images so here and i will add it with this so now if you hover about the image you can see you can see black bars on two sides so what i will do i'll just right click on it and click on crop and zoom so just click on crop and zoom and here go into pan and zoom so for this motion as you said as i said earlier there are two things to be taken care of while creating a cinematic slideshow which is first one is that the image should be in motion by what by this what i mean is that you should have a little motion going on with the image otherwise it will just look like a still image so what i like to do i like to create a slow zoom in into the image so here in pan and zoom what i will do we'll first make the ratio as 16 is to 9 so as you can see now it is set into 16 is to 9 now i'll select the end part and i will increase it in both the ends so now i will position it over here and then click ok now if you go through this uh, image as you can see it slowly zooms in so this adds the motion to that image but i want to add a little emotion the second part so what i do to make it feel more real i will add i have downloaded this smoke uh, uh, video so link for this will be also in the description below so i will cut it over here and I will delete the rest part I'm not creating a preview delete this part and if you hover it now as you can see you only see the smoke so what you will do you will just uh, double click on it and here you will go into blending mode and select it as screen so now you can see you can see the smoke but if you now play the video it looks like a little too much so what you will do again go into the composition and here you will decrease the opacity by like around 60 percent to 50 percent so click on ok now if you play this video you will be able to see that low slow motion and that emotion to that uh, video now you can also add a, i have a what do you say a sound effect so let me just bring that in so this is a cold wind sound effect so if i just add it you can hear the cold wind let me just play it for you i will just decrease the audio a little bit because i want the music cinematic music that i'm using to have more effect than the wind so as you can feel uh, the video is edited to the beat and the little uh, wind sound effect from behind gives it a good feel now what i will do we will just uh, uh, delete this rest part of this wind effect now for for this fast uh, slideshow what we'll do i will do add multiple images over here 
and uh, there is a sound effect that i have downloaded so i will just add that first and uh, so as you can see there is a spike over here so when this spike hits i want the image to change so i will end it over here now i'll add another image not this one again let me add another one and uh, so i will continuously add this and uh, i will add till the end and i will fast forward this part of the video So now as you can see I have uh, added all the images in this timeline and as you can see some of them are not fitting into the screen and you can see the black bars. So what I will do from the first image I will just click on it, right click on it and then select crop and zoom. So here again I will go into pan and zoom and we will change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and in the same thing that we did uh, for the first video we'll zoom it create a zoom effect into this and we'll just click on ok we'll do this for all the video now now that we have added the zoom effect into all these videos now what i will do i will just add the smoke again into this last video so let me just add it above it and I will cut it over here and now let me just change the blending mode to screen and decrease the opacity and again I will add that uh, wind effect below this so you can add a, a what do you say beach effect beach sound effect or a sea sound effect but uh, uh, to this video because uh, as you can see these both are sitting in the beach so that might give an, another great emotion and add another great emotion into this video so let me just play this first part of this video so that you can have an understanding of how this cinematic slideshow is going on uh, now one problem that i have seen is i don't know if this is specifically to my system but the film or do slow does slow down when you add too many images into it so as you have seen this is the first part so be careful uh, with using too many images as you just saw there was a little lag in playing this uh, image in this video so make sure you are not using too many images so now this is this was the first part let us get into the second part of this cinematic style show so welcome to the second part of this video so now let's get started with the second part so in the second part we have a glitch effect a flicker effect basically and then a slow ending so what i will do i will just add one of the images over here and i will mark it over here and the another thing is that you can color correct these images so what i will do you can just right uh, you can just double click on them i'm going to color and select any of you can manually color correct or you can select from any of these lots so let me go with mission impossible lot click on ok and then again i will add this smog effect around it i don't know i have a thing for this smog effect that gives it an amazing uh, feel so let's add the blending mode to screen and let's decrease the opacity click on ok and uh, now what we'll do we will add the glitch sound effect uh, as i have the link for this sound effect is in the description below so you can use it from there so as you can see it is still here so i will decrease this sound effect till here and we will end it over here now what i will do 
uh, during this glitch effect we will go into so i have already created a flicker effect uh, video earlier so you can check that out by clicking in the top right corner right now so what we will do we'll go into sample colors and here we will bring a black sample color above it so we'll place it exactly where the sound effect starts and uh, we'll make make this uh, frame of just one frame this black black sample color of just one frame and then i will just copy it paste it over here and one frame ahead i will go paste it again one frame ahead paste it again do this uh, like a 10 15 times now what you will do you will just select all these and drag them over here so as you can see these are all added over here so again what i will do i will just copy all these again paste this over here and again drag them behind it and let me just do this two more times and now if you play this video let's just play this video and see how the flicker effect works so as you just saw that was the flicker effect again and in the last what we'll do we will again go into the folder and we'll add the last image that we want to add so i'll be using this rainy day image over here and i will close it over here and i will also place uh, cut this sound over here and for this image again we will add the zoom effect by right clicking on it and going into crop and zoom going into ban and zoom selecting the aspect ratio and then increasing the size of this end we have also created zoom effect multiple zoom effect if you want to create a custom zoom effect you can check our tutorial which we have also i have already created so once let me just see how the zoom effect is doing so as you can see it zooms in but uh, as you can see this is a rainy uh, emotion so i would like to add a little emotion by adding a rain sound effect so i have downloaded this rain effect so let me just add it i will end this effect with the video so if you now i will decrease the sound so that it doesn't overpower my soundtrack and now i will again add my smoke effect that i love so much so what i will do i will just expand this because that's a better option and in the end since this is a slow fade out so we'll go into transition and we will fade out this with the fade out of transition effect and we'll fade out the audio of the soundtrack as well as the rainy season so now let's just start from the beginning of the second part of this cinematic slideshow and let's see how it looks so that's it guys with this amazing cinematic uh, slideshow video slideshow images together so make sure you follow the rules and create this uh, for this creating this amazing slideshow as mentioned earlier we have already created many other slideshow videos so you can check them out by uh, going to the link in the top right corner or in the description below and if you like this video then make sure hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you hit the subscribe button so that's it guys from my side see you guys in another video till then see ya